In this video, we'll balance the equation for Li2CO3 plus AlNO33, lithium carbonate plus aluminum nitrate. We're going to use a trick to make this easier. What we're going to do is, since we have a carbonate here and we have carbonates here, we can count that as one thing. Same for the nitrates. We have nitrates here and then we have a nitrate here. We're just going to count that as one thing. It makes it a lot easier to balance this equation. So we have two lithium atoms. We have the one carbonate here one aluminum, and then we have the nitrate, we have three of those. On the product side, we have one lithium, we have the carbonate, three of those, two aluminums, and then just the one nitrate. So you can see it's a lot easier to work with this than all the oxygens and carbons and nitrogens. Let's start by balancing the aluminums, because if I put a two here, one times two, that'll give me two aluminums, but the three nitrates times two. That'll give me six nitrates. So I could have started out by balancing the lithiums, but then I'd have to change that number because I'd have so many nitrates over here. So now I see I have six nitrates and only one here. So let's put a six in front of the lithium. One times six, that'll give us six lithiums. The six times the nitrate, so six times one, that'll give us six nitrates. The nitrates are balanced. And now, since I have six lithiums here and two here, I could put a three, two times three. That would give me six, and then three times the one carbonate. That would give me three, and this equation is balanced. So when you count these polyatomic ions as one thing, as long as they're on both sides, that's very helpful. And here I've balanced the aluminums first because that gave me all of those nitrates, which then I could get balanced later in the equation. Either way you do it, you'll get the same answer. This way, just a little bit easier. This is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.